What's up YouTube? Jimmy and Fernape here. And it's time for my full 3DS collection update video. And this is 227 games that I'm going to be showing off. Doing a little mini review for each of them. So let's get started with the Japanese exclusive. Currently I own six Japanese exclusive games and now not many, but pretty cool talking about them. New Love Plus, my excuse to say to my parents, hey, I have a girlfriend now. EX Troopers. A pretty fun game. It's a third person shooter. Don't need much Japanese in order to play it, just minor. Yokai okay, Watch Busters, uh, Blue Dog, I think it is, version. Pretty cool game. Nothing too, too special there. Monster Hunter 4. This one actually never came out in America. Only 4G, which was translated over to 4 Ultimate over. When it came to North America and Europe. This is pretty cool. Uh, Bot's Dual Rakusha version. Pokemon Treta. It's unplayable, unfortunately, but it looks really nice on the shelf. I mean, this thing's massive. Look at the size of this thing. I'm just going to zoom in here, just so I can show off that. So this is pretty friggin' amazing. Yeah, you can get to look at my ugly mug the rest of this. So, yeah. Let's go over. I know I have one. European exclusive which Violetta uh, Rhythm A Music. Pretty cool. I mean it's just a rhythm shovelware game, but it's none it's nice nonetheless. Well, let's go over some sealed games now. These ones are in my collection. I just haven't had the time to unbox them or whatever, or they're not even worth my time to play them. PS soccer. I was a baseball fan as a kid, so I never Bother to even unwrap it. Crossword Plus. Runbow Pocket. Can't wait to give this a try, honestly. Heard great reviews from it. Pop Tropica. Just a mediocre game, apparently, so I didn't even bother to unwrap it. Minecraft. Not, not a big Minecraft game. It actually came out when I was in high school. And I remember people were playing that on the computer because of a little loophole in there. Anyways, Codename Steam. Really cool game. Uh, Duck Dynasty. Not so cool. Uh, there's Mario Party Star Rush. I think this is going to be the final, last little bit of the seal games, I'm correct. Yep. Wait, there's a few more here. Okay, there's Madden Football. It's incredibly hard to find. And is it worth the money? No. Just a sports game that was launch title. Nothing special. Two copies of Fire Emblem Awakening sealed. I'm going to trade off one of them at a future date and probably keep the other. Uh, Bratz. Fashion Boutique. Not a big fan. Anyways, let's get started with some other random games. I got the Professor Layden Miracle Mask. Combat at Giant Dinosaurs 3D. Adventure Time Seeker of the Nameless Kingdom. Paddington, that one's sealed also. Nothing special. Freaky Forms Deluxe, apparently a really hard to find game. I found it for like 10 bucks at EB Games, so I was like, screw it for that. Even though it only has the uh, GameStop cover, I thought it would be pretty cool to own that one, so I was just like, screw it, get off the list. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, or in, for people in Europe, Luigi's Mansion 2. Rise of the Guardians, Pokemon Sun. I have that one, the Steelbook Edition. You know, the dual steelbook. 
Sonic Boom, Fire and Ice, pretty fun. Uh, Big Hero 6, Battle of the Bay. Mario Kart 7. Metroid Prime Federation Force. This game I think is going to be somewhat coveted in the future because it's a, decent, it's a pretty fun game. Nobody bought it at launch and then it's like really cheap now. So yeah, because it was hated. Like most hated video on YouTube was its trailer. So I think it's really good. I mean, it's the only shooter on the system. So Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Haven't played it. Same as Monster Hunter 3G if you're in Japan. I really want to get the limited edition uh, 3DS of that to play on Japanese games on. Star Fox 3D. Spider Amazing Spider-Man. Apparently that was pretty good, but I haven't played it yet. Thor. Uh, God of Thunder. Pretty fun. Just a hack and slash game. Like God of War. Boulder Dash 3. Rollercoaster Tycoon, I was a big fan of the PC games back in the day, but I'm not sure I haven't played that one yet. Ninja Turtles, the movie version. There's like two or three versions of that, and I think it's stupid. I'm not a big fan of Ninja Turtles, so. Professor Layton at Azron Legacy. Pretty fun game. Kind of hard to come by nowadays, actually. Now that I mention it, okay, I'll move over a little bit and try to get some of these. Wait, right. uh, Madagascar 3. So, Triwars here is completely unplayable because you need multiplayer. And I don't have friends. <laughs> I mean, I've tried to get three people to play it together and it's just, you know, not happening. Yokai Watch. Donkey Kong Country Returns, Tale of the Abyss. I really enjoyed this one, but I ended up running into a game-breaking bug in it, unfortunately. Uh, that one's Tenkai Knight's Brave Battle. Terrible game. Rack and Ralph. Terrible. Sonic uh, Lost World. Horrible. Lego uh, Marvel Super Heroes. It's okay. Lego Hobbit. Majora's Mask. Hyrule Warriors Legend. Don't even bother playing this if you have an original model or an XL or a 2DS. Only use it if you have the new 3DS because then the updated clock speed really makes a difference on it. Pokemon Art Academy. Pokemon X. Paper Mario Sticker Star. The At Rhythm Curtain Call. Really fun series. It's uh, basically Tower Hero with Final Fantasy music. You wouldn't think it would work, but it works. One game doesn't work in my collection, Fossil Front of Fighters Frontier. Green Lantern. Terrible Metroidvania game. Dual Sports. Dual Pen Sports. That was another cheap one, and unfortunately I don't have the case for that one. It's just a GameStop one. Shinobi. Amazing game, and the first game I ever owned on this console. Fire Emblem Warriors. Really fun game nobody talks about. Like, literally, it's like most underrated game on the console. I'm gonna butcher this one so badly. Akogupki Memory is a Shin Sengumi. It's just a visual novel. I think it's an interesting concept, but if it had English uh, dub, I probably would have played it more, but didn't have that. It was just subtitles, and I don't like reading. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Shadow Wars. It's a tactical RPG, which is surprising considering it was a shooter for all the other games. One of the most surprising games in my collection, LBX. This one's amazing. When I was talking about Metabot, this is the Metabots game I dreamed of years ago. It's amazing. For five bucks, pick it up. Project X Zone 2. That one's pretty fun. If you want a nerdgasm, just like nerdgasm all over the place, literally. This one has like characters from every single series. Monster Hunter Generations, I haven't played it either. I know, I need to get into the Monster Hunter series. 
Good Chart Saga, that one's pretty fun. This one, I couldn't even understand how to play it. Like, literally, I tried to get the controls down and I couldn't even play it. Dream Trigger. I tried for like 10 minutes and couldn't figure out how to play it, so I gave up. SpongeBob Squiggle Pants. This one's WarioWare except SpongeBob, so it makes it awesome automatically. I mean, come on, I'm a huge SpongeBob fan from back in the day. It's a SpongeBob Pillow. Alrighty then, let's get you some more. Adventure Time Adventures of the. And, uh, uh, Explore Dungeon, because I don't know. That was literally 250 so I was like, screw it for that, I'll pick it up loose and I'll eventually trade out the case. Battleship, nothing like the board game. Super uh, Black Bass Fishing, nothing special. Kid Crest Uprising, amazing game. Super Monkey Ball, amazing puzzle game, nobody talks about. Dragon Quest 7. Adventure Time, Why'd You Steal My Garbage? Frozen Olaf's Quest, this game should never have been Nintendo Select's title. Speaking of Nintendo Selects, not a single game in this is Nintendo Selects. I just don't like collecting them because they don't hold their value at all. Happy Feet 2. Spirit Camera, and this one actually pretty coolly has the book with it. Kind of hard to find that book with them. Which is high consi considering you actually need it in order to play it. It's part of the Fatal Frame series. Crush 3D, I got that one before. I was seriously collecting for all the box and manual, so it doesn't have the box and manual. A lot of these do though, so yeah. Most underrated game on the console, in my opinion. Like, nobody talks about this because it looks like a show work tile. Fantasy Life, amazing RPG. Star Wars Angry Birds. Jewel Masters, Cradle of Egypt 2, that was pretty fun. Shifting Worlds. And that's actually, that's what it looked like, the black and white. It looks like a neat concept, but it just doesn't play well. Doctor the Trek, pretty fun game. Hero of Ruin, pretty fun. Ace Combat, not my thing. Never was into realistic playing sims. Alright, let's get some more games out of the way. Pokemon Y. It's just a loose copy. I'm probably going to sell that one off, honestly. Pac-Man Party 3D. Rodea's Sky Soldier. Terrible game. Wipeout 3. Total Hidden Gem. Really fun. That's like my guilty pleasure game because everybody says it's crap and I'm like, no, it's really fun. Harvest Moon, Lost Valley. Literally everything with Harvest Moon, except just everything good that was removed. Fire Emblem Echoes. Really fun story. I ended up finding, talking to an old friend that I hadn't seen in years at the launch of this game. That special edition. Pretty cool. TMNT, Dangerous of the Ooze. Crashy Mayhem. If you like Burnout, this is one for you. Power Ranger Mega Force. Cut the Rope Triple Treat. Pilot Wings Resort. I'm not going to talk about every game because it would just take too friggin' long. I mean, I still have like two giant. I have like one, two, three, four. Is there any more back there? Yeah, I have six giant stacks still, so yeah. Cold Sup Revolt. Another copy of Codename Steam. That one is loose, or as the. It's not sealed. This one was completely. I was waiting for this to come out and then it dropped in price right away, pretty much. Dragon Ball Fusion. Really fun RPG if you like the Dragon Ball series like I do. Moco Moco Friends. I should have kept this game sealed, but it, uh, it looked interesting and then it wasn't. It's terrible. Resident Evil 3D Mercenaries. That one's pretty fun. Now this one's probably the rare, one of the rarer games on the console, but because of a stupid reason. 
It was literally a three dollar game. Somebody found an exploit with it that allows you to use it as a hacking device. Cubic Ninja, so it skyrocketed from a three dollar game to like a thirty dollar uh, to like a sixty dollar game. I think it is now. Luckily, I found it in GameStop when it was starting to rise. It's only like twenty bucks at the time, so yeah. Or EB Games. That's what I use. Scribble Knots Unmasked. Not a big fan. Nikolai's Pencil Puzzle. It's like three dollar game, so I picked it up. Resident Evil Revelations that just got re-released on the Switch. That's gonna fall down, I bet you. It's like there's huge big stacks here. They're right beside me. It's ridiculous. Now here are two games right here. I'm gonna have to show them at once because they're really great games. Virtue's Last Reward. Talking now on this, this copy is literally 30 bucks on, e on Amazon. And Zero Time Dilemma. These two games are freaking amazing. Totally recommend them. Hopefully it doesn't come crashing down now. Okay, Senron Kara 2. Conception 2. I'm just waiting for this one to go up like most Atlas games do. It's a really fun game. I have two copies of you guys can see. One's limited edition, one's not. Planes, Fire, and Rescue. Samurai Warriors Chronicles. If you guys like Dynasty Warriors, then this game is yours. Or the Hyrule Warriors, or the Fire Emblem Warriors. It's basically that, except with Nobunaga's Conquest characters in it. Pretty fun. Story of Seasons. It's supposed to be good, but I didn't really enjoy it. I played for like an hour, and then it's just not my thing. Animal Crossing. Ultra Moon. I had to have this one in there. It's probably one of the hardest games to find on the console for good reason. It didn't sell well at all. Xenoblade Chronicles 3D. It's incredibly hard to find and getting really expensive. This is another one that's really hard to find and pretty obscure. I wouldn't be surprised if this is like the next Chrono Trigger or whatever. Lord of Magnum Made in Heaven. I have the Special edition of that one. It's a really fun game. Sonic and the Mario at the Olympic Games 2012. Disney Magical World. That one's pretty fun. Legend of Korra. Terrible. Wow, I'm making pretty good time here. Like 20 minutes. Here's another really hard one to find, but this one's actually worth it because unlike a lot of games that are rare, like that, what's it called? The Furry Fire Ends Deluxe or whatever, Horses 3, they usually just shove away if it doesn't sell well. This game is freaking amazing. Rhythm Hunter, uh, Rhythm Deep in the Emperor's Treasure. That game is amazing, totally worth the pickup. Dragon Ball Z Extreme Butoden. It's more of a Street Fighter sort of style. Smash Brothers. Asphalt, Ridge Racer, Dead or Alive Dimensions, that one's really fun. Street Fighter 3D Edition with the... That kind of cover. Yeah, it has a slip cover with the 3D cover. Pretty cool. It's hard to believe they managed to get that on launch, like, that nice. Star Wars The Force Awakens Lego. Sad story, now I'm going to get boycotted for saying this, but I haven't watched this movie yet. I haven't watched any new Star Wars movie. No. I just haven't had the time. Lego Harry Potter. Lego Jurassic World. Lego Lord of the Rings. Puzzle Dragon Z and Puzzle Dragon Mario. Pretty neat game. My brother absolutely loved it. Lego City Undercover. That one's underrated. Like, no way touches it for some reason. It's like GTA except uh, for Lego. Ninjato Shao Ronin. That one was okay. 
down to the last few stacks. And for the last few stacks being probably 100 games. <laughs> Crazy amount. Mario Maker 3D. It only came in <laughs> the right case. Which I mean, I don't mind it. How much I actually like the different color cases. Mega Man Legacy Collection, nothing too special there. Farming Simulator 18. Monster Hunter 13 Wishes. Er, Monster High 13 Wishes, sorry. Terrible game. Sonic Generations. That one's actually really good. One of the few good Sonic games out there. Yoshi's New Island. Shovel Knight, and that one comes with... This is one thing I really enjoyed with Shovel Knight. How big the manual was. Like, it's thick. Like, some of these 3DS games don't even come with manuals. Ever Oasis. I know a lot of people love this game, but I didn't enjoy it at all. I just found it was... Eh. Mediocre. Zero Striker Gunvolt. Totally recommend it if you like Mega Man. Feels just like a running gun. Garfield Carts. Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Super Mario 2. That one was alright. Lego Movie. Super Mario 3D Land. NES Ultimate Remix. This was a great choice for the uh, for the Nintendo Selects Tales. It just uh, it was announced probably two weeks ago. So yeah, Rune Factory Four, Rayman Origins, Rayman 3D, Kirby Plant Robobo. Now this one's totally underrated, literally nobody ever talks about this game, and I don't see why. I think that it should be more talked about. Moshi Monsters Katsumi Unleashed. This game's like a decent platformer, and it's like five bucks. No joke. Skylander Spyro's Adventure, and this one's hilarious because I found it for a buck in the States. It's like and when you find a game that cheap, you're like, yeah, I'll pick it up from that. Nintendo Dogs Plus Cats, the Golden Lab version. Toy Poodle version. It need Bulldog Terry and Shinna, the Japanese exclusive Shinna Abba or whatever it is version. Nothing too special there. Langrisser Reincarnate Tensei, terrible, terrible RPG. Don't even know why that passed their quality assurance test for Nintendo. This one's hilarious. 